Okay. Hey, it's Troy Casey, the Certified Health Nut, here at the Czech Conference, and who do we have here? Hi, I'm Jade Johnson. And Jade, what do you do? Well, I'm an Olympic level athlete. Um, I do the long jump, and I'm getting ready for the Olympics in London next year. Wow, that's great. And so, uh, what uh, brought you to Paul Czech? Well, basically, my life was in tatters and my body was basically broken and so was my spirit nearly and um, I just didn't have any other options really all the options that I tried to to follow in the past basically had failed to work they worked for a little while but then I got to a point where when it starts stops becoming about the body breaking down and it starts becoming about the spirit the, the hormones the emotions you know it's really hard to find people to, to deal with those and luckily I found um, Warren Williams, who's a Czech practitioner, mm -hmm. and I started working with him, and from there, he was so amazing that I'm a, I'm a person that's very much driven by, um, by being a perfectionist, and so, um, yeah, I'm very much driven by being a perfectionist, and so I thought, well, who better to, to deal with than Paul Czech himself? So I got in contact with him, and I was lucky enough to, to deal with him, and he deals with me now, and we work together, so it's really good. That's great. And so, so you're a high-performance athlete, and uh, you reached, obviously, a peak somewhere in your career, and then, what, you couldn't continue further? Was that the issue? Well, yeah, you I mean... You couldn't reach your next goals? Yeah, What well, happened? Well, I mean, I've been to the last two Olympic Games and, you know, I've been doing this since I was about eight years old. Um, said to my mum at eight years old, I want to be an Olympian and at 24 years old, I made my first Olympics. So I've been doing it for a long time and it's definitely my dream. It's definitely in my soul. It's not of the of the surface stuff. You know, it's definitely deep in there because I think if it was surface stuff, I would have been gone a long time ago. Mm -hmm. And I think that because it's in my soul, it keeps me coming back and keeps me coming back and, and pushing through all the hard times. But yeah, I've achieved, you know, some medals at Commonwealth Games, European Championships, finalists in the last two Olympics. But for me, my body just had enough and everything just had enough. And, you know, for me to go to the next level, which is next year being a London girl from London, England, and the Olympics actually being in London, that's a really, really oh, big wow. thing for me. That's so, cool. Yeah, very much. So, you know, everything happens for a reason. I got right chills. Time. Yeah, I know. Me too. So <laughs> I'm rooting for you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Very much needed. But um, I think that I've got a great team around me at the moment. And, um, you know, with, with the stuff with Paul, you know, it's, it's, it's definitely life-changing and I think that a lot of athletes tend to work on the physical stuff and they don't realize that when you get to a certain level of, of, of sport, it actually becomes more about the emotional and mental stuff. So mm. I've kind of neglected that all the years and just kept pushing on the physical side, why, hence why I've had so many injuries. And, you know, through working with Paul, he's taught me that, you know, you can't go to that next level because you have to work on the other stuff, the emotional stuff, the deeper stuff. So that's what I'm doing right now. It's, it's quite tiring. It can be very, very taxing on the, on the emotions and the mind. But you know what? I see amazing breakthroughs. And I also see myself just going from strength to strength. Yeah, well, it's kind of similar to going going to the gym and, and lifting weights and getting stronger and stronger, when you go through those emotional barriers, it's tough. However, the rewards are on the outside. Would you say that's true for your experience? Oh, definitely. I mean, the rewards are ridiculous. You know, I'm just loving, I'm loving what I'm seeing. It's, it's tough, you know, and I would say it's not for the faint hearted. Mm -hmm. I think that you have to be ready that if you've got that can of worms and you're ready to open it, be ready for it to be very hard to get those worms back in if you decide afterwards that this isn't for me. So be, I think that for me, you know, like I said, everything happens for a reason. I don't think I would have been strong enough a few years ago to have dealt with all of this stuff. I don't think I would have been ready. And I think that, you know, if this would have come upon me a few years before, I don't think that this is something that I could have coped with. But right now, obviously, I realize that I am. And even when it gets tough and it's hard, I know that this is all happening for a reason. And, you know, I'm, I'm just really excited about the future. That's 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 great. And so, so what were some of the uh, uh, mental and emotional things that uh, were real hurdles for you? Well, you know, you know, growing up, I was, you know, my mom was. We've got, she's got six kids, and it was tough, you know. And we had some problems moving around. We had a lot of races, and we lived in an area that was predominantly white. And me and my sister were the only black or, you know, ethnic minorities around. And we had a lot of. And they didn't know the value of a pretty woman. Well, I know, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Thank you very much for saying that. <laughs> no matter what color you are. <laughs> Thank you for that compliment. But no, they, they, it was really, really difficult. And you know, I had to deal with a lot of the stuff like that. And you know, my mom th went through a lot of hard times. As well um, and, and abuse and stuff like that um, physical abuse 
abuse and so you know I grew up seeing all of that stuff I've definitely got a lot of scars from that and you know you build as an as an adult you grow from a child and then you build you grow to an adult and you build a lot of barriers and scars to protect yourself from what you've seen you know at the end of the day when you're a child you're growing and everything you see is it affects you and you kind of use those experiences to then you know have an impact on your life so what's been happening with me is I know it's not right what some of the behavior I know that I don't want to be you know so aggressive all the time or so self-centered or I, lo I want to open myself up I want to love more I want to let love in I want to give love but the problem is it's a scary thing you know and so you, you know it's not a good thing to live out of fear and I feel like that for the last well all my life I've kind of lived in a place of fear and not wanting to be hurt but at the same time I'm actually hurting myself not opening up to love so for me it's just it's just a growing experience that's a powerful revelation. I, I, I talk to a lot of people, I deal with a lot of people, and um, most of the populace doesn't even ever address the mental and emotional. So I commend you for that. And, and uh, what kind of results have you seen uh, as you've started to address these issues? Has it, has it penetrated into the physical realm for you? I mean, is it, has it increased your times or your, your distances? Or, I mean, how does it, how does it translate into results? Well, I've been basically working with uh, Warren Williams for the last, who's a Czech practitioner, um, for the last nine months, and so it's only this is only, this journey's only been a nine-month journey, and I feel like I've kind of done a lifetime of living in the last nine months, you know, and, and kind of and, and realizing. So, um, but you know, physically, I mean improvements in my performance, improvements in my ability to be able to be more functional, to be able to do what it is that I do as a, as a long jumper. Before I was, I feel like I was struggling, I was forcing it, I was, you know, just because of my will. Mm. I was, I've got a very strong will. You know? I know that one well. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So my will was really, really strong. But then it got to the point where my body couldn't keep, even keep up with that anymore. I got adrenal fatigue and, and so the will went. And then that was when I was really, really scared because I'd never felt like that. I've always had the will and I've always had that fight behind me. And so, you know. Did you end up in bed exhausted? Or? Absolutely. I mean, everything. I mean, you know, anyone out there that's experiencing this, it's, it's, it's really scary. Well, that's going to be very debilitating for a powerful athlete to wind up just that week yeah I mean literally you know no motivation L the littlest things to to be motivated to do go to the you know go to the store you know feed yourself you just don't have the motivation you don't have the energy to do any of that panic attacks it's it's really scary and I think that for me I'm an athlete that's had injuries all my life like physical injuries like injuries to my body I prefer those injuries in a way because you can see them. Mm. The ones that you can't see, which are all on the inside, they're the scary ones because it's really hard for people to understand them and put their finger on it to actually fix it. So, you know, but I've definitely seen um, improvements in my physical performance, but I've also seen improvements in myself, in my, in the way I look, my outlook on life and how I look at situations and also with my partner and my family and my friends and not really being so harsh and pushing them away so much and mm. allowing them in a little bit more. So I'm, I'm feeling a lot more happy and a little bit more calm. I'm not as, um, how should I put it, yang as I used to be, as Paul said to me. Um, a little story I'd like to, I'd like to share was mm. Paul said to me um, that the first time he ever met me that I'm like, the energy that I'm giving him is like a dragon in a stance position with two samurai swords swinging ready to fight and it just hit the nail on the head and I've never ever been kind of described in that way but for me it really hit home because that's exactly how I feel so now I feel like I'm a little bit more of a dragon in a in a relaxed position with two samurai swords in my back pocket ready to fight when I need them but they're still there that's that's a great analogy and uh, so that's great so what uh, uh, what are you enjoying about the conference here what, what, what are some of the the lectures that you've seen that have touched you well I've seen quite a few of the lectures um, it was a bit nerve-wracking because obviously I was trying to prepare for my lecture as well and um, you know that went really well but you know I just love the energy yeah, people really liked the, 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 the interview and this lecture that you guys did yeah I mean I you know we tried to do it from the heart I just tried to be as natural and and as and as honest as I possibly can and you know you know we've had a really great feedback so I'm really really pleased I'm glad people you know understood where I was coming from and kind of related to it <coughs> 
yeah everyone understood where I was coming from and really related to it but I just love the energy and the people here that you know it's really really lovely when you get in a situation where you're around people that are like-minded or you know and and, and uh, so far ahead and I'm just new on this journey you know of kind of the holistic approach and doing things in the right way in the clean way I'm new on this journey so to see everyone so deep in the game and I'm really just starting out I just love it and it really is an inspiration that's great so what's a uh, one message uh, you have to people out in cyberspace that uh, are interested in the holistic lifestyle and, and what Paul Check has to teach? Well, there's nothing better. This is what it's all about. I mean, for me, this is one of the reasons why next year I really want to come back and prove to everyone that I don't need operations. I'm not needing, you know, all these drugs. Were, were your doctors trying to give you operations and stuff? Yeah, they, I was told that I needed um, back surgery, like really, really, really invasive back surgery, and also knee surgery just to make, just to have a look in my knee and see what's going on because I had a, pro a lot of knee problems, and I've not had to do that now. Mm -hmm. And so for me, this is the approach that you want to really incorporate before you try to do those severe things you know that will leave you maimed forever exactly you know you don't you know you can't take that back once you operate once you have surgery there's no taking that back and if there's options that you can have before that even if you don't believe in holistic stuff or you know that kind of lifestyle and you think everyone's just like you know in their own world like a lot of people like like a lot of people say what have you got to lose right. and that's exactly how i got to be standing here today I basically had nothing to lose. I was very, very skeptical, but you know what? I tried it and now I'm definitely changed and I'm loving it. That's great. So uh, thank you so much, Jade. Thank you very much. That's awesome.